Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make landscape in Blender. Um, you can use this method to make high poly or low poly uh, uh, landscape. It just depends on however you configure the terrain, which I will get into. But real quick, I just want to show you guys my Patreon that I uploaded. Um, so basically, for as little as $3 a month, you can unlock um, hundreds of game-ready low poly assets made by me. Uh, we have a low poly kit, we have a pets kit, we have a currency pack, we have low poly asset packs. A lot of stuff you guys can unlock for as little as $3 a month and it's perfect for your Roblox game. So check that out if you haven't already. Uh, it's patreon.com slash natalieclaybo. Uh, now let's get into the tutorial. So first thing you do is open up Blender 2.8. And real quick, I want to say I know all my tutorials have been in 2.79, but it's finally time for me to make the change. So we're using Blender 2.8 now and... Yeah, we're gonna start learning and doing tutorials on here. Anyways, the first thing we're gonna do is select everything. So press A and then X to delete everything. You should have an empty scene and a blank canvas and from here we're going to Word. So what we're gonna do is go to Edit Preferences and you guys can see here there's an Add-ons tab. We're gonna click it and then we're gonna go type in Landscape. Um, and then you should enable the A and Add Mesh ANT Landscape. So just hit this little tick box right there and once you're done with that, there should be a little save button down in the corner, save preferences. Make sure to save that and just close Blender. Um, and from here you'll have a blank scene and then you add it on something. But I want to show you guys what you added. So go to add, mesh, and then landscape and you'll see that there's a new button there for you guys to use. Um, so just click that and you'll see down here that there is a noise tool that you can configure. Um, so what we're going to do is add mesh uh, landscape and then open up this noise tool and you can play around with all these settings. There's a depth setting that allows you to change like the depth of the mountain. Uh, you can change the offset, you can change the height right here. Um, just play around with it until you get a configuration that you like for it. Uh, next thing that I do for all my mountains is um, I, uh, sorry, I um, lower all the um, the the subdivisions so instead of 128 i set mine to 30 by 30 like that and it just gives it a more low poly look which is what i prefer um once you're happy with the shape of your mountain after configuring with the noise tool just go to uh this little wrench icon right here and add modifier and decimate so i don't really like the square look that the landscape add-on gives you see everything looks very square one way we're going to combat that, we're going to add the decimate modifier and we're going to lower the ratio. And as you guys can see, it one, takes away a lot of the squares. It like lowers the poly count. And then two, um, it gives it a nice triangulated look that a lot of low poly mountains look like. So just lower the ratio until you're happy with the way it looks. Um, I'll do something like that. And let's say, okay, that's nice and all, but you still want to configure it further. Like that's not exactly how you want it to be. I go to the sculpting um, tab right here and I use the grab brush which is this brush right here and you can grab each individual um, vertice and you can change it to your liking. Um, so you can just play around with that. You can change the radius to have a bigger grab brush. You can change the strength right here. Um, there's a lot of things you can do in the sculpt mode so just play around with that and play around with the mountain configuration, the noise tool for that too. Uh, with that being said, that's how you make low poly mountains in Blender. Um, and then if you're ready to bring it over to Roblox, just go to file, export, rape, bunt, or .obj, and then import it um, to Roblox from there. But yeah, that's a basic mountain tutorial. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up, and I'll make more tutorials in the future. Um, and make sure to check out my Patreon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.